my fellow Amazonians, uh, this is uh, Dr. Chua Yaba. I have read the transcript of the outing of uh, Dr. Sako, and I am amazed. I am extremely amazed uh, because he said the reason why the AGOFC and the ADF are being attacked is because we foiled the Swiss-led uh, uh, process for negotiation. Let me remind him of the following facts before I respond directly to his claim. Under his leadership, uh, the AGOFC and the ADF were banned. That ban order has never been retracted. They created the SCLC and claimed all over they are the biggest, the mightiest of the mighty. They are more organizations supporting them. They are the legitimate platform. It's amazing that people with such arrogance could have such short-sightedness in, 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 in the first place. My person has been attacked for three years. The EGOFC has been attacked relentlessly for three years. Don't forget, these are the same people who claim they are the government. They have the majority of Amazonians behind them. They are the Alpha and the Omega. When you make such claims, you must be strong enough, bold enough, man enough to hold your leg, not to need any other person. The reason why I am not reckless, the reason why I don't create unnecessary enemies is because in revolutions, you don't make enemies that you can avoid because you may need them around the corner. And so you have to be cautious. Revolutions are tough cookies. Even those who attack me, I don't respond because two years down the line, some of them begin to tone down and they may help. They may be of use. I can go out there and say, I don't need anybody. Because that would be too arrogant. Secondly, Dr. Sako, the reason the Swiss process is collapsing is not even because of you. You did your utmost best. Even when I think you miscalculated Cameroon, that you didn't take time to study the nature of the international system, to understand the standard practices in the way that negotiated settlements are conducted. But you committed. There are two reasons why this process is collapsing. And the principal reason is because Cameroon has not committed. You have not been honest to tell the Ambazonians people these facts. You think you can throw cheap attacks and undermine EGOFC, ADF, and my person. You cannot undermine us. You can't. The earlier you learn this, the better for you. And Dr. Sako, listen, you've been making a lot of mistakes that has cost you a lot. I'll come back to those mistakes. But let me inform you about the second reason this process is not working. Cameroon has read the lack of willingness of the international system. Don't forget, the international system has offered rhetorical commitment. They have not been able to use the stick and to let Cameroon understand there will be consequences on its actions. They have given Cameroon the opportunity to think, well, maybe if we wait a little longer, we can undermine 
the Ambazonian people and gain back the support of the international system because that's how Mr. Bia has survived in power for more than more than 30 years. He has played for time. He did that with John Frundi despite the support given Frundi the international system retracted that support because time undermined the ability of Mr. John Frundi to weaken Mr. Bia. So he thinks that same playbook will be applied to Ambazonia. The reason it's not working is because we have taken time to study and understand Paul Bia's ways of dealing with crisis. And so we have factored all of these strategies into our own national liberation plan. And it has become automated. It adjusts itself to Paul Bia's antics, whether he calls for a national dialogue, a bilingualism commission, he tries to bribe fighters. We factor these things and we respond instantly. That's why we are succeeding. So let me remind you, the only reason this the Swiss process has failed is the lack of commitment by Cameroon and a failure by the international system to standardize the process and show meaningful commitment with consequences on the forces. It's not because of you, it's not because of me. Secondly, let me, let me tell you this. You've made a lot of mistakes in, 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 in your life and it's costing you. you, you you've, lost, you've lost your base completely. All these guys running around and talking in the name of LGAs are not answerable to you, Dr. Sako. They are people with the same with their own agenda. We saw it when Sesiko was kidnapped. People who should have rallied to defend their own leader. They were rallying to protect their own power base. You are not seeing it today, but you will see it with time. They aren't answerable to you. Honestly, if these people were answerable to you, they wouldn't be as reckless as they are. They wouldn't be as opportunistic as they are. And because you are also powerless, that's why you could come out and make such redundant, use, useless statements. You don't control the Bui warriors. You know it. You didn't even know we were entering into Bui. What happened there was a chance encounter exploited by opportunists sitting out here to instrumentalize soldiers on the ground for their own tribal power base. It has not worked anywhere. They've tried this in FACO and we have become weakened in FACO. All the conspiracies that was hatched led to the killing of General Ivo. What has become of Meme? What has become of your own constituency, FACO? Have you become stronger there? by undermining others. If you pursue a strategy that weakens you, you should sit up, rethink that strategy, rework it, and move forward. If you think the AGOFC was relevant in the Swiss process, what you should do as a leader is come out on stage and say, we think we cannot move forward without the AGOFC, and there is this necessity for us to have a talk with them. You don't come out and speak with brave and come behind and, 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 and act sheepish. Another mistake which you made as a leader, which was unnecessary, is to undermine your own very leader. You people concocted, you know, a cheap impeachment process because you were listening to voices from the international system and voices from people who were building their own power bases to undermine your own leader. You impeach, you didn't try, you didn't allow evidence to either convict or acquit. You impeach and that translated immediately into a trial without the defendant and to a dismissal. By impeaching your own leader, have you become stronger? Have you become stronger? By attacking his integrity, have you become stronger? The other day, Mr. Chris Anu gave me a call. And of course, that's why during this crisis, I, I just wish the egg of sea should fire me. Because to be a revolutionary leader, you need to really have some evil in your heart. And I cannot develop it. I can't. But I also think I don't need to be evil to be effective. When Chris called me, this is the man who has attacked me repeatedly. 
But honestly, when he called me, I just completely forgot about all the attacks. And I asked how he was doing. But the first thing I told him, stop your attack on the prisoners. Stop it. That's what I told him. We had a good conversation. We even discussed, if he didn't brief you, that the necessity for all of us to agree on experts to lead us in the negotiation was there. He agreed with me. And I said that was a good start. I briefed my team about it. Do I need to really make you an enemy to succeed? No. If we aren't friends, we, we, we shouldn't be adversaries. Hold your lane, I hold my lane. Why were my forces attacked? I will answer that when I address the Ambazonian people. Facts don't lie. But, Dr. Sako, I want you to sit quietly in your room and ask yourself, since the day you became leader of your own organization, up till today, have you become stronger, more effective, or have you become weaker? If you answer this question honestly, and if you think you've become stronger, keep your policies. If you think you've become weaker, look at the policies. You don't need as a leader to be reckless with respect to other leaders and other platforms. In three weeks, Cameroon will be organizing an election in our homeland. The focus of every leader should be to avoid any crisis, any conflict from within. Look, a date was set for lockdown. You announce another day. I would never do that. If you will set a date for lockdown before it come out, I will never change those dates. Except they are too long. And I will question it. But if you set a date for lockdown, on an issue that concerns all of us, I will simply adopt it the same way I adopted the 22nd of September as a Seseko day. Look, I hear a lot of noises from Boston, from Washington, people frustrated for having lost power on the Seseko, people frustrated for having been undermined, making a lot of noise, confusing themselves. This is the 21st century. Records are kept. Those who pulled the trigger on Nginya, those who ordered it, they should know, like Bia is realizing today, this time around, there is a price to pay. Listen, we don't pay prices by blazing guns around in public. For all those, who have taken our weapons. Ask Sokadev, they will tell you how we got part of those weapons. There will be a price to pay. The power of a leader in a war of independence is not determined by how much he attacks his own. It's determined by how he stands firm against the real enemy that is exacting a price on them. I have the possibility to shut down Momo, to prevent any car crossing Alamoka or entry Bamenda. I have that power. I have the power to shoot down every small, small unit that are answerable to you in Mezan. But can you imagine for one second that you will be hated, you will be attacked, that I will inspire attacks from Mezan, state where I come from, against you, against any other leader, because they do not buy into my ideology. It's a sign of weakness, not a sign of strength. Sit up.